Hello, people of the world. Today, I'm showing you guys how to build a Lego Yatiranus. Or Yatiranus, if you want to pronounce it. Uh, there's pretty much only two ways. Or Yatiranus. But, you might hear a lot of Legos moving around the video. Because I am right now sitting on a pile of Legos. Yeah, this hurts my legs. Well, not that much, but a little bit. Like the corners of them pushing down. Like, I'm like, sitting on these Legos with shorts on. And I'm, and I'm on my knees. So, oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah. And this is a feathered version of it, just so you guys know. Because the Atarianus was proven to have feathers. So, start off with the head. I just knocked over my lighting. Okay. I'm just using that to light it up a little better so you guys can see because I'm in a new place. Because I usually film on the complete other side of my room at the bottom of my bed. And I had this table. Now it's cleared up so I'm using it. Um, so it's two one by fours in the red. Like so. And then black one by two there and then one by one circle or one by one stud all studs are one by one but yeah for the eye I had mine glue because yeah oh I just chose the same color then a one by two um female end of these hinge pieces and just put that there. Then a one by two. No, one by one, not one by two, one by one plate. Yes, that was like, wait, was that plate tile? No, plate. Put there, so this. Ow. I have a leg open next to me and I just hit my elbow on it. Okay. And it scratched me. Like, it was the corner of the bin. But, one by, oh, I was about to say one by one cheese wedge. Why do I keep, eh, I don't know. This is one by one, but all cheese wedge pieces are one by one. Because one by two ones are just small slopes. Or they're thick cheese wedges. <laughs> but yeah, like that. One by three. Right here, so you should have this at this point. Then these clip pieces are going to be used as feathering, or to represent feathers. So just put that on the, right there. Then this black one by two there. There's another one by one clip there. So now I have this. I've also used a similar design to this head on my Kylophosaurus, which I have not made a video on, which I actually built before this. And I also used a design, or I attempted to use on my Majungasaurus, so the Majungasaurus is similar to this head design. And then for the neck, I'm going to get a one by two piece uh, with that the, with the bar on the end, and the male end of a one by two hinge piece. Attach those together. Looks like so, and then now you one by two with the clip on top like so and then one by one with clip on top there so now you have this then just attach that to the head so you can have that like articulate up and down and then the body, which is just connected right to the tail, 
So we're just gonna build those in unison and then add the arms and legs on afterwards. Usually you attach a tail in kind of near the end. But this is one that the tail isn't something it clips on and so it's just part of the body. But it can still can articulate. So one by um four plate and then over that a one by one brick, one by two brick with a Technic pinhole, and then another one by one. See this is what it looks like, and a one by one with a clip on the side goes here. I just knocked something over, but so, um, and then just a one by one plate there, then a one by four plate, and then put the one by two brick um, with a Tekic pinhole into the, underneath that. So now we have this, and then on top add a 1x4 plate, next to that a 1x1 one one with a clip on the top, then a 1x2, and a 1x2 with a clip on the top, and a 1x1 one one with a clip on top, 1x2 with a a clip on top and then another one by one with clip on top so this is what it should look like ah there's my f light from my fan okay there but that kind of shows you where all the lines are so you can see all the individual pieces okay whatever okay and then now the keep that was just I was just showing you all the feathering up there then one by however long this is I don't know how long <laughs> and it, it's long I think it's eight it's longer than six there and just anything longer than any tech not technic but any regular tile one by something tile longer than six will work it's like eight or longer Mine is eight, I think. So yeah, yeah, just use eight. <laughs> and then put a one by two brick underneath it. And then a one by one two plate next to that. And then put a one by two another one by two plate underneath the other one by two plate. Then a one by one plate. Followed by those one by three plate, but don't put it right next to the one by one. Leave one open space there so that you can turn it back and forth. And then on top of that, a one by six pl plate attached to there. So you have this. And then in a lot of depictions of Yotarianus, it's just his like feathering on just a little ball of feathers on the very end of its tail. So to create that, this one by one female end of a hinge. And on top, a one by two with a clip on top. Then a one by one clip on top. So this is what that should look like. Then just set it on top of the tail. So now there's this. I can actually move my camera up a little bit. And then put the head on. There. I usually just sometimes keep it straight out. So I could bring it up. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. But then these one by four tiles I guess they are except they have a stud on each side and just stick those right here like so 
and those will create little arms. And then this one by, I've said one by one, one by something so much. This video, I'm saying it to every piece. This is not a one by something piece. This is a Technic pen, three long, three studs long, three Technic things can go over it. So stick it through this Technic pinhole here. And then you have that, and it should show on either side. And then for the legs, one by two brick with a pinhole, and then Technic pinhole, and then underneath that two, uh, just regular one by two bricks, and underneath those two one by one bricks, and then a one by four with just this stud on each corner, or not corner, but the side. And then just repeat the same pattern for the other leg. Eh. Ah, I just knocked over my light. It's okay. I'm really just using my phone as a flashlight to get a little extra light to make it easier for you guys to see in this. Just uh, put the extra light on. And there is your Yatyranus. The late Cretaceous. I forget whether it's Chinese or Mongolian feathered tyrannosaurid well all tyrannosaurids were feathered even t-rex yes t-rex did have feathers that's not a myth um yeah so please like comment you don't have to comment but uh, um s please subscribe if you haven't it really helps um, share this video with anyone you know who likes Legos and dinosaurs, or dinosaurs, um, because they'll most likely be able to build this, along with my, all my other, and if you like this how-to, watch all my other how-to build videos on other dinosaurs. I will see you guys later, goodbye.